Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I've not been on YouTube lately as I travel to another state to be with family over Thanksgiving. I'm back and I'm glad to be with you all and to share what the Lord has put in my heart. We are waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and the wait has been like a long pregnancy, developing but a long wait. We know it will happen and the signs are here. We will soon see Jesus and be with him. And we are called to watch, prepare, and be aware and to stay in faith. We are the last generation and we are living in the end times. There's a lot of spiritual warfare happening and it has to do with our faith. In fact, it has everything to do with faith and how we think. The fact that we are tempted to give up and to retreat into not watching is the enemy at work causing us to doubt, to fall asleep again, and to get distracted with all of life. I know, because I've had all these things attacking me. So I know I am not the only one. In this time, it's important to look forward, to resist the enemy, telling him to leave. He is a liar, and we as believers are to live in the truth and to walk as Jesus did. He didn't speak anything but the truth. I was reminded of this when I read the account of the disciples in the boat during a powerful storm. The disciples panicked, afraid they would die. Jesus rebuked the storm and told them that they had very little faith. He was there with them, just as he is with us now in the middle of these storms that we are experiencing in this world. He has all power and he wants us to know that he is with us now, right now. Jesus is coming and he is coming soon. I urge you to ask for God's help to stay awake, awake and alert and especially watch during this next month. It would be so like Jesus to come on the last month of 2023. I haven't given up on this year yet. I want to share a word that I felt that the Lord gave me and feel free to test all words. Here's what I felt he said. My children are coming home. The father delights in his family and the joy will be immense at the return. My children who are waiting will be rewarded with the delight of the father's love. The greatest joy experienced on earth will not compare to the glory of that moment in eternity. The extension of this waiting time is the gathering of the family of those who are resistant, fearful, troubled, and unbelieving to come home to the Father's arms. The wait seems long, but eternity is longer. And some who are in the balance are being brought into the net. There is a clarion call for last minute guests to the wedding supper of the Lamb. The tables are ready and the bride awaits her beloved. The Father beckons the lost to be saved. My children, the delay is short. Be ready, keep watch, and be alert. Terrible times are coming for the earth, but my own will be delivered. And that's what he felt he said. I also felt he gave me a verse about our choice of who to follow. In John 10, 10, the thief said that it says, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So if you're not saved, the choice is clear. It's life or death. That's the difference between living for Jesus or living for the world. Yes, it seems like the rapture has been delayed, but there is a purpose. The prayers of those who are praying for family members and friends are being heard. The invitations are still going out. Be alert. It won't be long until we see Jesus coming in the clouds. He is coming and he is coming with great glory. The joy you will experience will be greater than any joy you have ever experienced so far on earth. So start rejoicing now. I'm looking forward to meet each one of you in heaven. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.